you just have to unravel it a little bit and then this second nail fits in that slot. Hey guys, Brad here with Skyline Construction and today we're going to be looking at a coil nailer. This one in particular is the Max brand and they call this a super framer. Now I don't usually use coil nailers, I'm usually into the strip nails, but this gun in particular which is the CN890 F2. I bought this for doing floors. Now here in Alberta, our code states we can use ballistic nails. So I'll show you what ballistic nails are if you don't know, but they're a very, very sweet way to attach your uh, floor sheathing instead of screwing. So first let's uh, take a look at the gun itself. So it's just, you know, your standard coil nailer. Those are the nails. This will shoot up from two inch to three and a half and 50 to 90 mil. So the adjustment is here in this plate and it just rotates for different size nails. And then the gun itself, we've got a safety button right here. So you, you push this in and turn it and that's how it's on lock. And so you won't be able to fire any any uh, nails. And then if you push it all the way over, it's unlocked. This also has a uh, rafter hook. These ones I really like, the Max ones. They're a really good profile. I like how they, you just push them in, slide them back, and they're nice and flush with the handle. This one also came with a rotating um, male adapter for air. So on this side, we've got depth of adjustment on the top. Very easy to adjust. And we've got a, a Nomar tip right here mounted on the side. So this pops off. I've actually never taken it off. But uh, yeah, it's a Nomar tip. Let's see if we can get this off. I'm going to leave it on. I can't get it off right now. So yeah, very basic, but this gun is sweet. It'll shoot from, uh, sorry, it'll shoot up to 120 PSI. So if you really need to crank it up, if you're pounding nails into LVL or whatever, um, this will handle it no problem. You can shoot framing nails, you can shoot ballistic nails. Um, this is not a roofing nailer, okay? It's too big for that. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the nails we're going to shoot today. So these are ballistic nails and basically they have a thread on them, as you can see. So it's like a screw. Now the front is like a chisel point. So you can't actually screw with these, like if you were to pull them off. Um, I mean, you could if you really wanted to, but it'd be a little harder. But basically, these fire in, and if you need to take them out, you can, because they have a Robertson head. So, I really like using these for two things. Number one, for flooring. Here in Alberta, the code allows us to use these instead of screwing. Uh, we always glue, of course, but the ability to shoot down your, your sheathing instead of screwing, this is light years faster. Um, you can nail down a whole sheet in like 30 seconds, literally 30 seconds, um, as opposed to screwing, which takes maybe two minutes. Now you multiply that by your whole day. Uh, this just frees up your, your installer. So he's able to maybe glue the next sheet or cut or, or whatever. So I found this is definitely the way to go. The other reason I really like these nails, um, slash screws is because if you're setting up any kind of bracing or um, uh, protective areas around stairwells or anything like that, using these instead of nails is nice because you can easily take it all apart and you, all you need is a drill. Whereas if you're nailing, you spend a lot of time banging nails out because you don't want to throw your wood out. So you have to denail everything. Whereas 
these you just take your drill you can pull it all apart in a matter of minutes and and reuse it for the next project so let's uh let's fire some some ballistics here and i'll show you so the way to load this oh i will note too you get a lot more nails in a ballistic or sorry in a coil nailer than your standard stick frame um, I believe this coil here alone has 150 nails in it. So it's, it's quite a lot. I'm not sure how many nails you get in on a stick, but I know it's not that many. So to get these in, you just have to unravel it a little bit. And then this second nail fits in that slot and your first nail fits in the firing chamber. Okay. You just lay it flat and it just bends very, very easily. Then you close the door. Then you close this door and you just pinch that little lever. And that's, it's all done. It's all set, ready to go. So we'll hook up our air. Okay. I've already got ears in, so don't forget to put glasses on. Anytime you're using pneumatics, always wear glasses sometimes they spark so you don't want to get that in the eye or if a nail shoots out ricochets whatever just safety first guys so we'll, we'll pound a couple nails in here and then I'll show you how to take them out so you can see I'm burying those and you can easily just adjust the depth no problem that's right here Give it a couple spins. So very easy. So then if you want to pull them out, just grab your impact. And they'll pull right out. site so that's it right there so ballistic nails are pretty sweet and they're not the easiest to find you're not gonna find these at Home Depot or Rona or Lowe's so just don't sell them uh, some guys probably won't even know what they are uh, you have to go to like your supply stores that uh, you know, are mostly geared for the, the contractors. So they'll know what these are. They can bring them in for you if they can't. So definitely, if you're into framing, building houses, highly recommend you try the ballistic nails. Um, I just started using them a few years ago and I've heard of them before that, but never really had the gun. And going from a quick drive screw gun to this is night and day you know with the quick drives they're always jamming up um you're sometimes i've had guys put the screw strips in backwards even though they have an arrow on them they put them in backwards and then that jams it all up so you know this is really hard to to screw up i find and this is why i love this gun you can give it to anybody and as long as they're wearing their their protection um they'll get the job done so yeah guys, I'm just super happy with the Max lineup. Uh, these nail guns are just the best. If you're gonna be into framing, I highly recommend them. Um, you can't go wrong with them. They work in the winter time, which is a big reason why I switched over. I was using the Bostitch nailers, which are really economical, especially when you're first starting out. But the staplers, the, the nail guns, as soon as it gets cold, even if you're using antifreeze or anything like that, I found they just kind of, the diaphragms just stick. Whereas the Max guns, I've never had that issue. You can be shooting nails in minus 30 with this gun. As long as you're using antifreeze and lube and all that stuff, um, you'll be fine. But these guns are just amazing. They never jam on me. Um, I just really like them. You pay a lot for them, but in the long run, you'll be happy because you don't want to slow down the production. So. Highly recommend the Max line and uh, highly recommend this, this coil nailer. And you can frame with this gun as well, like I said. And you know, if I, if I put some more thought into it when I was buying 
these guns, I probably would have just bought this one instead. Um, also, you know, it's smaller so you can get in between studs. It is only uh, front to back, you know, 14 inches, 13 and three quarters to be exact. And then this way we're looking at about, I don't know, another 13 inches from top to bottom. So yeah, highly recommend it guys. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe, give us a like, uh, hit that notify bell, leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you guys are using for framing. And if you're allowed to use ballistics in, in different provinces or different states, uh, different countries, um, yeah, just curious about it because it's such a time saver. So till next time, keep on crushing it and we'll catch you later.